Hey guys, what's up? It's Droid here, and today I'm just going to be bringing you a tutorial on how I do my modeling, pretty much the basics of modeling. Um, I'm doing, I'm starting to do tutorials now, I'm going to do a series with a couple of my friends, but it's just hard to stay active now that school started, sports are starting. Uh, I already have football, so. Yep. So let's get into this tutorial. If you got any more tutorial suggestions, you can just leave a comment in the description because I know a lot of you guys want help and yeah and how I do my modeling so first off you're going to start with your render settings Let's go to output 1920 by 1080 current frame save PNG alpha channel and I don't care about the anti analyzing or anything right now so I just want quick renders to see how the model looks. Alright, so, let's see. I guess I'll start off with the logo. It's always good modeling around a logo. It's basically how you get your model shape and idea. Exclusive. Alright, let me find one. Alright. I'm just gonna do the Dare logo since it's a nice circle. Very simple. Just make the faction zero. And the logo's a bit small, so I'm just going to raise it. There we go. Move it a bit more. Alright, so I'm just going to get two extrude new nerves. Blah. c I'll click down and drag these into here. So. I don't really need to worry about the logo editing it right now or anything because pretty much the model is going to be based around this so you're not going to be able to see the back or anything mainly so yep so once you got your logo there I'm going to start off with a uh, tube go to coordinates and just make it 90 I'm going to drag this back so about there. So I'm trying to center it. I'm just gonna make the inner radius zero. Outer radius. I'm just gonna make this like that. I'm gonna raise the rotation segments, which makes it smoother, as you can see. And the cap segments. These the segments are what you use to edit the model. So they're important. And the height segments, which are up here. And Five sounds good. All right, so rotation segments I use 66, cap segments 15, height segments five. I left the height at 100, and in radius zero and outer radius 172. But this is all going to vary on what you do at home. So let's see right now. So I'm gonna raise the outer radius radius a bit, so I can edit this line right here. So, um, let's see, actually, inner radius out a bit, so it's like that, so lower the cap segments. The reason I'm doing is this, because the way I want to model it right now is not going to work the other way. So, alright, so I have this outer right here, so I'm just going to edit it, so I'm going to click on the tube, press C. I'm going to click this thing right here, which makes you be able to edit it. And there's many different tools for editing it. If you want to select the parts you want to edit, there's a live selection tool. Which means you can just pretty much click wherever and edit all that. Uh, but I usually use UL, which is the loop selection. As you can see, it loops all this at once, so it makes it a lot easier. And... I use it a lot, so I'm just gonna click the first one in. Next is another second one. I mean, I'm gonna click that one. And if you want to click more than one, you can just hold Shift and click again, like so. And yeah, you can just right click. Then you'll get a bunch of different tools. We have bevel, extrude, extrude inner, matrix, extrude, and 
bunch more. I usually like to stick around with Bevel, Extrude, and Extrude Inner. The Matrix, Matrix Extrude gets a little weird sometimes, and I'm not a big fan of the look of it. So I'm just going to click Bevel right now. And then you can just click and drag forward and drag back. And it'll all do different things. I'm not going to drag it a lot. I'm going to drag it. So, let's see. I'm just going to drag it. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to make the extrusion 2 and the inner offset 3. Actually, 1 and 2. As you can see, this will point it out a bit. And then I'm just going to go to UL again for the loop selection. And I'm just going to click around this right here. So modeling is all creativity. It's all your idea. And you really just have to be original with it. The one thing about the graphics community right now is nobody's original. Everybody just focuses on taking other people's style. And I don't get what's so fun about that. Um, I already came with another style. That's why I'm doing a tutorial on this. You guys will see it soon. And yeah. So now I have all this extruded. I'm just gonna. I don't like how it's all of it, so I'm just gonna click, get the first loop, and CTR I'll click it so it deletes it. I'm doing on the back, which is. Let's try and get it. CTR I'll click. Alright. Now that I have that, I'm just gonna right click and go to extrude this time, which pushes it in, pushes it out, whoops, out, and in. I'm just gonna push it in a little make it look a little cool as you see you know, if you guys want another tutorial on texturing that takes a while this tutorial is already probably going to be a bit long so if you guys want a tutorial on texturing and everything I will do that next for part two but so yeah if you just want to texture this stuff inside make it glowy it's all pretty cool and yep so now we have that I'm just gonna do outside the model too. So I'm gonna click this and go to UL again. But you can also use the live selection tool if you guys want. You just go like that. But this takes a lot longer and gets annoying if you click the wrong thing you have to go back. Just see Terrell clicking and just calling over it. So I'm just gonna do UL again. Let's see. So I'm just gonna click that. And that actually you know what? I'm just gonna click the back I'm gonna g make the bevel extrusion 2 and then an offset 3 not 300 stupid computer alright so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna right click extrude inner which is makes the yellow line thinner or wider usually do a thinner though and then I just right click and go extrude so I edit it again and then up one row. I'm just gonna click without holding shift so I don't click the yellow again. One sec. Alright. Then I'm just gonna let's see I'm gonna bevel except this time I'm just gonna drag it in and out this time because I'm not sure how I want it. I think I'm gonna drag it in a little. Then I'm gonna extrude inner. Oops that's matrix extrude. Extrude inner. And maybe, let's see. I'm a matrix shooter to see this, but these wires. No, that looks pretty cool. So I'll use a matrix extrude. I haven't used this in uh, like any recent ones that I've done. But yeah. Also, you guys know they usually have an inner thing back. I don't really like the logo. Like, just floating off sometimes. But, I don't know, this case I do, but I'll show you how to make it back anyway. So I'll just go to the cylinder. Actually, wait. I'm just going to hold down, click on the cube thing, go to torus, make the coordinates r.p90, so it's upright. Ring radius. I'm just going to make this bigger. 
push it in. Push it to the right. I'm just try and center as best I can. And let me see. Alright, so the Taurus, I'm just gonna press. Actually, I'm gonna raise the road ring segments a bit. And then I'm just gonna click it, press C, and then UL. Then I'm gonna click on each one, separated by one. And this is how I make my wires, guys, so you know. Alright. So let's click this. Ten minutes already, alright. No, you can't even see the rest of that side, so I'm just gonna do this side. Alright. Now that I have that, I'm just gonna right click and extrude. Oops. Right click and extrude out. So as you see, it gets that thick. I'm gonna get a screwed inner. Then I'm gonna bevel it like that. So, see, I'm getting a cool looking mod model right here. One sec. All right. So yeah, here's a pretty cool looking model right now. If you want, you can add some landscape, which is pretty easy. Just call and click that and press landscape. Now, get it. A lot of you guys are asking, like, how do I do the mount and this stuff? But it's a preset in here. And I guess you guys just try and copy so much, I don't even know how to use a program. So, yep. You just duplicate this a couple times. Add the Throutsy thing to the logos. Or the ripple effect. Seems like the community loves that. Um, so yeah guys. If you want any more tutorials. I'll be happy to make them. So. Please leave a like and comment. Um, it will. Motivate me to do more tutorials. And I have a lot of other. Really cool ideas. So I might just make a series with a couple of my friends. Like original ideas. Change the community. Cause I'm, I'm a motion designer mainly. Um, I really don't care if you guys know how I do my things. Yeah, it does get annoying when people take your style, but if you're giving a tutorial on it, it's different. Like the cell render and Throusy, I started that a while ago when I was in Soar. Like, I don't know, I guess 13 months ago now, 12 maybe, well, basically a year. And yeah, guys. You can just rotate this, put in the landscape, mountains, and then you can texture it. Also, I have a texture pack, guys. I use it in every one of my intros, and every one of my backgrounds that you've seen on my channel is in this. It's got glow, grunge. There are like 120 in here. Original ice, landscape. The one I use on my landscape right here, space rock. Lava metal and overlays so yeah guys if you want to buy that it's ten dollars so i also got an exclusive pack so also if you guys want to turn on this i'll show you here some exclusive pack original stocks nope 3d abstracts Let's see abstracts like that or this this one's pretty cool and also, which one? Right here. If you guys want that? That's my new style, but I'll do the do tutorial on it anyway. So yeah, leave a comment and like, please. Uh, it really will try hard to bring more tutorials out for you guys. The intros. The thing is, I'm saving up for a Mac right now because my computer is slow and it's hard to do intros. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you guys and peace.